Is there anything that, any other things that you would like to share? Yeah, um, there's, people are probably gonna think that, um, especially other disciples are probably gonna think that I, I'm doing this because I'm angry. And to be honest, I am, I am angry. But that's not the reason that I decided to do this. I'm doing this because someday there is going to be someone that is gotten to a point with their disciple or, or with someone else in the church and they're going to realize what that person just did to me is wrong. And they're going to look at their phones or at their computers and they're going to type in ICOC and Google's fabulous predictive text is going to come up with ICOC cult and it's going to feel like their hearts are going to pound out of their chest. And when they click on it and those YouTube videos pop up, I want my face to be one of the faces that they see. I want them to know that that this wasn't their fault. Mm. That I know what they did to them. Mm. I know what they made. I know what they made them do to other people. Mm. Because they did it to me. Mm. They did it to me and they made me do it to other people too. Mm. And I know I know that they didn't mean to, especially, especially the ones that grew up in the church. It's all that they know. That's one of the things that people misunderstand about mind control is that the person who's doing it doesn't have to know that they're doing it either. It's so ingrained in the culture and in the structure of the organization that that's the only thing they know to do. And it's, uh, it, they think that they're doing it for the right reasons. Yeah. And they're not trying to hurt somebody. Um, even though it, it's really hard to differentiate between those two things. Um, I'm sure that there's a lot of people that these groups attract who are controlling individuals. Yeah. But, I think a lot of people get caught up the same way that you and uh, Michael, the other guy I interviewed, and so many others have. And um, I, I had, you know, encounters when I was witnessing on college campuses with them, and uh, I saw some of the other things uh, that they do to people when they leave the group. It's a kind of a combination of shunning slash harassing, yeah. and. Um, so I, I hope the that it starts as soon as you get invited. Yes. And then you get used to it and you yeah. kind of forget that, um, that it is harassment. And then, um, after that you get to a point where you're shunned out and you don't know how to function. You don't know how to function with, without, they, that's what they want. They don't want you to be able to function without them. Right. And it's easy. It's amazing how easily people get swept up into groups like this. The individual I was just talking about, uh, he got invited to a Super Bowl party. Yep. And that's how it started. And uh, they encourage things like uh, using dating to I uh, get people in and things of that nature. And so, uh, yeah, it's amazing how, how easy that is. But I hope that uh, YouTube's nice to us and that your face will be one of those people who one day pop up. Uh, when people put in that search, I'll, I'll throw in that ICOC cult just for you. And, uh, <laughs> It was great talking with you, Cassandra, and great hearing your story. It, it kind of made my day a few months back, um, you know, when Tim was uh, sh sharing that with me. So thank you. 
Thank you for having me. I, um, I really appreciate it. Yeah, you're very welcome. If you All have right. any, um, any other questions or anything like that, I'm more than happy to answer. Okay. Thank you so much, Cassandra. Thank you. Bye. Bye.